My name is Joseph Duraney, and I am the Chair of Cardiovascular Surgery at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and have an area of interest and expertise in pediatric and congenital heart disease. Today we are going to talk about the management of the anomalous origin of the coronary artery in children and young adults. These congenital anomalies of the coronary arteries are uncommon, but importantly they can cause chest pain, myocardial ischemia, and even sudden cardiac death, particularly in the young individual. It is the third most common cause of sudden death on the athletic field. In addition, the use of CT scanning as an imaging modality for other chest evaluation and workup has resulted in these coronary anomalies being identified and then raising the question of what to do. This discussion will focus on either the right or left coronary artery arising from the wrong sinus of the aorta. The presence of the left coronary artery arising from the right sinus with an intramural segment in the wall of the aorta has been associated with sudden death and its presence is an indication for surgery. In contrast, the right coronary artery arising from the left sinus is more controversial. This anomaly also commonly runs in the wall of the aorta with the so-called intramural segment. Indications for surgery for an anomalous right coronary artery arising from the left side include the presence of chest pain, evidence of ischemia with exercise or other stress testing studies, or restricted physical activity because of its presence by the pediatrician or cardiologist. The origin of abnormally located coronary osteum usually has a slit-like orifice and an acute angle takeoff which can result in myocardial ischemia or chest pain. The intramural segment is vulnerable to compression as it courses between the aorta and pulmonary artery and may be accentuated during exercise when the blood pressure is higher. Surgical management has been the gold standard. There is no role for angioplasty or percutaneous stenting for this anomaly. Surgery can be performed with minimally invasive techniques in certain, in certain institutions and in certain situations. The operation of choice is called the unroofing of the intramural segment of the coronary artery. Bypass surgery is not indicated or is rarely indicated and is generally reserved for older patients who also have some degree of atherosclerotic coronary artery disease. The unroofing procedure is viewed as a corrective procedure and it is uncommon for any further interventions to be required. The risk of operation is low, usually less than 1% when performed by a surgeon with experience. Follow-up exercise testing can confirm no ischemia and patients are generally allowed to resume full activity that can include competitive sports after a complete recovery and clearance from their cardiologist. Mayo Clinic has one of the largest, most integrated heart programs in the world with over 300 heart specialists working together to treat more than 120 heart conditions and diseases. Mayo Clinic is one of the nation's highest rated heart programs by US News and World Report. We provide trusted heart answers to focus on you. Thank you for listening.